this guy. If you could summarize your opinion towards women. Like what I think of them? Yes. <laughs> I do think they are very important, but... Oh, Jesus, we can rewatch it. Oh, no. Some topics are hard to approach. More and more male hatred against women is rising up. You might call this a new phenomenon. Either the subjects are inaccessible or people are uncomfortable discussing them. If you're an ugly guy, you better get a good job and make some money because nobody's going to want to talk to you. Girls, I will destroy you. You don't deserve to get laid at all! So we found those subjects in person, rented a space in Hollywood, and invited our audience and any strangers walking by to come inside and ask them anything. Uh, hey, I'm uh, Brendio. I also go by Derek. I, uh, I'm an incel, and I'm here to uh, answer people's questions about the topic. I can start. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. So you're an incel? Yes. Why would you ever sign up to do this? I, I'm tired. I suppose I would Anyone want to else? give more of a positive light on this community, which is a very negative light upon it. Okay, and do you think that's a good thing? Yes. Why is that? Okay, guys, guys, a little, a little early thoughts. This guy, this guy uh, the problem is here, I think, is that if they're both neutral and they just have a discussion, it's chill, but this guy is like, oh yeah, oh, yeah, why then? Uh, uh. No, nobody likes that. No, Nobody wants that. Because a lot of the boys in it's, the it doesn't achieve anything. are bad people. But you acknowledge that a good handful of them are, right? Not a good handful, I would say a small handful. Who hurt you or what happened? What event sort of catalyzed this way of thinking and you getting into this kind of research? Uh, society? <laughs> um, Do you hate women? No. 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 Do you have a female role model in your life? A female role model? Yeah, like um, a mom or an aunt or a friend? I mean, I love my mom. I wouldn't necessarily consider her a role model, but I do love her quite a bit. If a woman was elected as president of the United States, how would you react? <laughs> um, I don't know. It probably would depend on the on the woman. I, I, I probably I probably wouldn't be supportive of it, honestly. But <laughs> why do you say? Yeah, this is honest. I do think that you know men should be the leaders and women should be the caregivers and the, and the you know the loving, supporting, and the, and the teachers. So in some cases, since women of color or just women in general have been oppressed by certain systems and other oppressed communities, especially the LGBTQ+, all those, those aren't, don't really fit with the spectrum that incels or you have been talking about. So why do you think your method of thought would help fix what we have today? What? I probably wouldn't view the things that you might view as oppression as oppression. I have a feeling. Um, I would view it more as uh, how we treat children that we love. We, we control them, but we control them lovingly, not as a slave, not as we're forcing them to do things against their will. I would view it more as a, a loving domestic thing in the past. And I would say that if we were to do it in a civilized way, maybe in a more, even a Christian way, even though I'm not really advocating for a certain religion or ideology, um, I would assume that women would probably be happier. And I wouldn't just assume that blindly, I would assume that based on the data that I've seen. What data have you seen that has brought you to this conclusion? Because I'm now curious where I can get this data from. Um, I couldn't reference it offhand, but I believe there was a study that, that um, I, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Okay. What do you think it is about liberal areas that create behavior in women that you think is a problem? Promiscuity leads to increased standards in more primitive aspects such promiscuity. as promiscuity looks um, and that well, uh, promiscuity promiscuity the fact or state of being promiscuous to us some fear this will lead to greater sexual promiscuity among teens it says huh? that, that doesn't say anything promiscuity is a price of engaging in sexual activity Frequently with different partners or being in the in it, it, it being in it being indiscriminate in the choice of partners, such as partners. Typically, <laughs> makes it harder for some people to find a relationship, including sometimes good-looking people. Like there's guys who are much better looking than I am, who are having 
a really hard time finding someone in a place like LA or in London or in Auckland, New Zealand. Oh, LA, yeah. But they probably would have a perfectly fine time finding a, a woman somewhere else. So you think that promiscuity is the problem and if people were more monogamous and more um, withholding, that would sort of fix society? Yeah, I suppose people were more traditionalist. There have been a few mass shootings in the past where these shooters actually stated that they were incels or were radicalized by online incels. What do you think about their actions? I condemn their actions. I don't believe in I don't believe violence is the solution. I don't believe attacking it's random good, people is going to fix anything, whether they're, you know, women or men. I do think that the reason why they committed those actions was probably because of out of desperation or, or out of, you know, mental problems that probably could have been prevented had the the right support was in their in their community in their household if they if, you know if people you know saw what they were posting and saw what they were experiencing in life and did something to help them was there like a pivotal moment in your life like a straw that broke the metaphorical camel's back you know it's Good constant question. years of Good rejection question. no matter who the person was constant years of rejection in other aspects of my life Imagine it did Twitch kind of push me towards more i suppose sports. radical um, beliefs, but I suppose they're only like radical, but they're... I have a question, I have, I have, a, I have a question, I have a question though. What if, this is, it's a hypothetical, what, what if the instances of rejection were because of actions that were self-inflicted or things that are based on, on your perception that were bad that caused that rejection? Would you want, would you want to explore this, this idea that maybe, maybe it could have been your fault all along and maybe it's something that you did wrong? That, that, that made it so you were rejected. I think before, before heading too down into the rabbit hole of like, oh my God, things are all against me. I think it's important to explore all the options of maybe I did something wrong. I think it's a mindset of, of self-improvement that helps a lot in video games and improving your skill. Just in any other skill. Because if you blame everything, then, then, and then it's easy to overlook things that you did that were wrong. But I suppose they're only like radical, but they're more just old beliefs, really. No, it's it sounds like uh, like I had another like metaphor like death by a thousand cuts. You know, it's not like one pivotal moment, but it sounds like a bunch of things built up over time. Yeah. Uh, one of the common criticisms about the incel community is that you feel entitled to sex or intimacy. Do you believe that you deserve sex or intimacy? Interesting. Um, I think everybody at some level deserves someone that they, someone that loves them and, you know, respects them as long as you are also loving and respectful towards that person, you know, they're, they're an equal, you know, you're not like uh, seeking someone beyond yourself, you know, you don't have like too high standards, I suppose, you know. If you can tell the world about something about the being insult that, you know, um, that may not be in the internet or that's overlooked XQCS heavily, what go. would it be? I don't know. I think it's. Oh, what was that? You know. If you can tell the world about something about being incel that you know um, that may not be in the internet or that's overlooked heavily, what would it be? I don't know. I think it's mostly that most of the men are not inherently bad people. A lot of them okay. are just lonely. They just need some help, really. Okay. Would you say that there's anything that other people can do to help guide or? Just support, or but also sometimes, sometimes people have to make make themselves uh, uh, able to be helped. This is a take. This is a take. Just don't get mad at me. I feel like sometimes people that, that that need help don't take the help because there's a lot of reasons behind it, and, and even in psychology, there's there's a lot of reasons why sometimes people don't don't take the help. But I, people need to sometimes just take the help and see how it goes. You know, the, the lonely person in your class or the lonely person mm -hmm. in, in, in your workplace. But the problem, wait, uh, wait, but other pro I, I think a big problem in society, uh, wait, hold up, hold up. I think a big problem in society right now is, is fake help. That's extreme poisonous. I think it's venomous. It's, uh, it's people that, 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 that mask themselves in helpers, but in fact, they're like perpetrators. And ha this happens very commonly uh, on social media and even in, in your close social circles people just want to see the drama just want to hear about it and it's not even want to antagonize you for your problems in in the mask of trying to help you that's extremely poisonous it's very common uh 
maybe he's an incel and he's not letting you know and he's just kind of afraid to, you want someone positive, just, just be nice, say hi, try and make friends with him. You don't have to date him, you don't have to whatever, just, you know, brighten up someone lonely's day, I suppose. Well, okay, noted. <laughs> Thank you. You don't want to be an incel? No. <laughs> Why not? Well, I mean, it's part of the whole involuntarily thing. I mean, I, I, you know, you want to try and escape it. You want to be something better. You know, you want to uh, get a wife, get a girlfriend, get someone who loves you, spend, spend your life with them and be happy. And what? What's one thing you wish people... Because this makes sense, but how is, how is your community going to be? People say it's a community, right? How are they going to see you if you're the one who makes the jump without the rope and, and you land on the stone and you escape the well? Aren't, aren't you going to be uh, ostracized? Understood better about you. I don't know. I, I, I guess I, people, I wish people would recognize um, how much effort I'm trying, I suppose. Like, you know, I'm working out typically daily. I've lost over 100 pounds. I'm out there job hunting actively. I don't think people recognize how much effort the incels in general try to put into. What well, 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 he says, he says the that the point is that, is, that, is that he doesn't want to be an incel, right? Is that he wants, he wants to escape that. Right and, and and have a wife and a loving person, right? But but how how is his his own community going to see that if if he he, he transcends past the realm of insanity? Oh yikes! You left us. You changed. We're all here with the boys, and you're doing that. What the fuck, dude? Do bettering to themselves. I would say you know people don't recognize their effort. They just assume you. that they're all like lazy and, and and sad and angry at women and just giving up and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. I suppose. You don't have to see the bad things in the world and then come out. Oh, or do they person. want to you escape it? The bad things in the world and then improve upon yourself because of them. I okay. suppose. So you do have hope. Yeah, I, I, I have. I have hope. Yeah, I'm a very hopeful person. I suppose. I won't lie. This went a lot differently than I thought it would. I thought, <laughs> I thought we'd be yelling at each other. You know. It was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks. Oh, that, that, that was kind of wholesome, I guess. Hello. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it.